Hey, what's up? I'm Justin Spears here with the Wildcaster and Tucson.com here at a place on 4th Avenue that's kind of a gem. Or, and it's been a, a surging place, especially on the news cycle. I'm here with the man they call Slobby Robbie, a.k.a. Robert Hall, Zach Dearson, S Generation Cool. This is the store that's on 4th Avenue. It is one of the biggest vintage stores in Tucson. Whenever you walk into the store, you could either find a vintage Louis Vuitton shirt, a vintage uh, uh, Gucci shirt. You have a lot of the designer stuff, but what you mainly thrive on is old school sports gear. Robbie, you have a show on Complex Network called Slobby's World. Zach, you're a feature in it as well. And what has it been like for you to not only put your store up on the national level, but also put your name in your brand? It's been really exciting, man. Uh, it's been really positive. I expected a lot of trolling and I expected a lot more negativity, but in fact, it's been a lot of love and positivity, which is what it's all about. And I think it was also a chance to show people uh, our knowledge more even than just trying to be cool or trying to show what thrifting and the vintage game is like, yeah. but also that you have to have the knowledge behind it. You can't just thrift and sell. There has to be some kind of passion. Sure. And how did you guys meet each other? How did you guys develop your relationship together? I think when you first opened the store, I started bringing toys in and started kind of getting the feel of what he was into. I was already, I always used to yard sale and pick with my mom, so I kind of was already used to it and then just finding out it was coming back around and seeing what was really good for the shop and just going out and digging stuff, stuff that I like and also, you know, there's stuff that was good in here. And what's the journey been like for, I guess, for both of you guys um, to be a part of the show again? I don't know what a, it's, I wouldn't call it a, a documentary. But, it's a reality show. But, but it's a reality show. It's a series about yeah. everything that you guys do. And not only here in Tucson, but you're always going to Las Vegas, Los Angeles, New York. Uh, you're all over the United States doing what you guys do. Yeah, I mean, my biggest goal, uh, you know, in life at one point was to travel and meet people and collect, you know, from my personal <laughs> collection and get paid for that. So um, when I can find stuff for the store while we're traveling to flip, or we can make business deals while we're traveling, pop-up shops, it, it's it, it's a win-win. It's yeah. vacation and it's money, and there's nothing more beautiful than that. When you thrift, what is the number one thing that you guys are looking for? Uh, personally, I'm always looking for jerseys. Jerseys is what I'm really into, U of A jerseys, basketball jerseys. I have a lot of knowledge about jerseys and probably rap tees. Those are the two things I'm looking for most. And when he's looking for me, you know, he's, he's, he's found me some Gucci stuff, MCM briefcase. <laughs> I mean, he finds me cool stuff all the time. I think you think about certain clients or friends, right. but I think for the shop, uh, jerseys are a really, really great sell. Uh, Arizona stuff at large is a really, really great sell for us. Not only because of our location in Tucson, but where we are with, within Tucson. Sure. Uh, and also because of our interests. I think both of us really uh, do cherish growing up with U of A basketball and U of A football and all the different uniforms. And I don't think there's uh, many people in this city that know more about the U of A uniforms and jerseys and sportswear than us two right here. Yeah, yeah I mean, I look at your cool collection that we're sitting in front of right now. Let's sit up here for a second, but you have this, this Sean Elliott shoe. Game worn, right? Game worn, Sean Elliott, issued by University of Arizona for the players only. And it says that down in there. Um, uh, it's still pending patents. Uh, 13 and a half, again, a very rare size. You just, unless you're a ball player, they don't, you know, you're not gonna get 13 and a half at Full Locker. Yeah. Uh, it usually stops 13, 14 whole sizes from there. So that's a good sign. Um, there was a lot of things that told us that this was a legit shoe. Not only the fact that the guy I bought it from had a photo of him <laughs> and Sean Elliott right. giving him a shoe. So, <laughs> that's um, a real deal. Again, much like authenticating anything, which we do every day, I was able to authenticate the signature. I saw the photo. But even if I had just read the um, directions on the inside that these were for players only, I would have known. So yeah, this was on Sean Elliott's foot. And uh, it's, it still it's, smells like a sm floor. It smells like, smells like Toya High School, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, it smells like, um, you know, beat, I think he won the wooden, yeah? Yeah. So it smells like a wooden award to me. That's what I would say. <laughs> Uh, what, what other uh, interesting items do you guys have that, or is, that is available? If you want to grab that other shoe, this is a really cool shoe. This is a shoe that would oftentimes you'll find at thrift stores in Tucson 
and this is something the average Joe, the average Joe finds and brings to us, um, which is the team issued equipment shoes. So the equipment managers, the coaches, Luke, there are many famous photos of Luke wearing these shoes. Bobby Olson would be seen around town in these. Okay. Um, again, any the water boy, the the guy, the kid who mops up all the sweat, the ball boys, they all got these. And this is, uh, you know, Sean Elliott, Steve Kerr era, 84 through 90. They, they were, these were just shoes made by U of A, not made by any particular sports brand other than Arizona making them for their employees. So I don't know why I have a personal affinity for these shoes. And I have some in my size. We try to carry them in a few different sizes. Okay. And that's a little piece of history right there too. That's a little small one, so that's probably the ball uh, boy. Yeah, this is, this, is a, this, <laughs> this is a ball boy, or this could have been uh, one of the uh, little flexible male cheerleaders who gets thrown up in the air, you know? <laughs> not us, not no, us. Definitely not. They would have gave us the big us. one unlaced. <laughs> you know, they would have gave us a custom. But this is this is really cool. And again, uh, Robbie, you grew up in Tucson, correct? Yes. So you know all about the history of Arizona basketball and really what it means to the city of Tucson. Is that what you try to sell to people that are like, hey, I'm looking for vintage Arizona stuff? Yeah. We, uh, again, knowledge is power. Knowledge makes you legitimate. So if you start popping off to somebody about a, a, a World Series, College World Series game worn Terry Francona era baseball, you better know what year yeah. we were in the College World Series. You better know some of the other guys on the team. Uh, you better know that the coach of the Ice Cats, I'm selling someone a game worn Ice Cats, I gotta know that is, you know, what's the guy's name? Leo. Coach Leo. Leo. Coach Leo. <laughs> See, I got busted. Uh, no, we, we. I can tell someone, yeah, we bought that from Coach Leo at his house. We went to Coach Leo's house and bought all his old jerseys. Uh, again, I can tell somebody that that's a helmet hat that's mimicking Dick Tony era Arizona helmets. It's, it's nice to hear the history. It, it, it's, it's more company for the customer to hear the history. Um, and at the same time, it gives the prices and the values legitimacy so you know what you're buying is the real deal. Absolutely. And all this stuff that you have, again, you have a, a vintage Mike Bibby jersey. Yeah. Um, you know, you have a couple Damon Stockmar jerseys. That's Salim right there. That's not Damon. Salim. Damon's got the, the blue stripe. With the Arizona in the middle, Damon would have, like you pointed out earlier, the navy blue on the actual sleeves. Uh, right here, we got a, a game worn. I want to say Richard Jefferson. It is. No, nope. nope. the other 44. Oh, so Reggie Geary, bro. Reggie Geary. Oh, I would have thought that was Richard Jefferson. No, 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 no. But again, Richard Jefferson would have had an A. It would have come down into more of a B, which is post Nike Elite. Uh, when, when we became one of the elite teams and Nike started giving us more customized jerseys. It was Duke, Kansas, yeah. Arizona, and Kentucky who were named Nike elite teams. And we were all given special jerseys that other college teams didn't have. But this, I mean, Reggie Geary, man, that's, that's, a, legend. Un that's a legend. unsung that's a legend. hero. Uh, what is your most prized U of A possession that you have in your shop right now? Um, I would say I'm a big, big, fan of this silk chocolate jacket to be honest yeah because it is just so unique and so classic and it's just everything you want as a fan the big the nice arizona arch spell out a nice just basic wildcat on the front and but again you're gonna go to the games when i go to mikhail center and i wear this kind of stuff and i borrow it from the shop or buy a piece for myself, people go crazy and come up to me all the time asking questions. So that's a pretty big statement piece when you wear something that somebody my dad's age who's been an Arizona fan for 60 years is like, oh wow, I've never seen that before, you that's, know. That's really cool. And what has the public reaction been like, especially from the University of Arizona and figures like former athletes, current athletes, have you seen them come through the shop at all? Well, you've seen that. You've dealt with a lot more of them than I. I know Trier's been here, PJC's been here, a lot of the current players have been here. Um, I think Bibby and Simon have been in here. So yeah, they they come through and they show a lot of love. Our favorite customer, ex Wildcat, would be Eugene Edgerson. Yeah. Uh, my personal all-time favorite Arizona player. Um, and I'm a big, big proponent of having an enforcer on your team. <laughs> And you know, Arizona hasn't always had an enforcer, but my all-time favorite enforcer for Arizona would be Gene. Uh, Gene's been in here not only to go into Arizona stuff, not only to 
sell and trade us his Arizona stuff, but he's a customer. <laughs> he buys, he's a big He-Man Masters of the Universe collector, so he's bought numerous rare He-Man pieces from us. And honestly, uh, just one of those guys that I could really relate with that, I, you know, he can hang out for a couple hours and he's part of the, he's right, part of the sure. homies. Yeah. Um, the list goes on and on. I, I would say, um, you know who else comes in a lot? Joseph Blair. Uh, and, and, and he's a really, really great guy. And uh, I don't have any shoes in his size, but he admires our <laughs> sneaker selection pretty often. You talk about Eugene Eggerson being the enforcer. Now, he's an enforcer, right. but a force in the law. He's yeah. keeping the That's probably why he's not like, coming anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, again, Arizona is such a big part of Tucson, and what you guys do is is very big because it's vintage. People want to relive all those great memories that Lou Olson has brought to this city, and to see all this, it's it's definitely a hood. You guys definitely need to go check it out. That's Generation Cool right here on Fourth Avenue. Slobby Robbie, by the way, named after Garbage Pail Kids. Right? Yeah, Garbage Pail Kids. All day, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, Zach Dearson for Justin Spears. Again, you can check out this video feature, the full feature on Tucson.com and the Wildcaster app. Thanks for watching.